Last night's weather was freaking insane, bro. It's not very often that we have weather like that in Arizona. Went to the gym, the, the power at the gym shut out. So when I left, I'm on my way home. Like there's trees falling over in the road. All the street lights are out, dude. It was just freaking chaos, man. So anyhow, guys, I've got a couple of problems that I'm hoping to get solved today. First problem is something to do with Max, bro. So let's go out there and check it out. Yeah, I finally got to make some use of the uh, of the roof rack, man. So it's not just there for looks, but now I was on my way to work the other morning, and I mean this has happened to me a few times. If you guys have been with the channel for a while, you already know this, but my radiator cooling lines, these high pressure lines down here, they've blown up on me a couple times, and it blew up on me again. Do you see the hose right there? came off from the line yeah anyhow dude I was uh I was on my way to work and once again big old cloud of smoke behind me fucking transmission line blew off and I lost all my transmission fluid coated the headers and I'm lucky it didn't catch on fire bro one of these times it's gonna catch on fire I'm also lucky I was able to make it home so I was able to make it home I didn't have to worry about towing it and then just took the Altima to work but but I got some good news, dude, in which I think probably aided to the transmission blowing up. I got a bunch of new tools, man. There's a Matco jack, and like, dude, there's just, there's a bunch of stuff in here. This is one of those little, like, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's got the little camera. It's got a little camera on the end that you can stick it down into like the cylinders to see what's going on. <sighs> like a bunch of stuff back here that I think. Jesus. God dang it. A bunch of new tools, dude, that my brother hooked me up with. Anyhow, my older brother got a new job that kind of requires him to be on the road, like, all the time. And he kind of is just getting rid of all the stuff, including his tools, dude. He has a bunch of tools because he used to be a mechanic. Anyhow, he has no use for them, and he really didn't have any time to sell them. So, he hit me up. He's like, go oh, pick them up, dude. But, I mean, it was like a 45-minute uh, drive on the freeway, one way to my house. So then I went down there and went down to his house and picked up all the tools. And then on the way back, like it, it ran good. But then the next day I started it up, went to work and then boof. So I, I think with all the tools in the back and of course the fact that we have much bigger wheels and tires on this is the reason why it keeps blowing those transmission lines. It, it, cause it builds up a lot of pressure in there. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I don't know. Anyhow, problem number two that I'm hoping to get handled today, I'm sure you guys are well aware, is the fucking plug on the head. This is actually what I'm going to do first. So I'm going to take your guys' advice and I'm going to try to weld something. I don't know if I'm going to weld the tool or if I'm just going to get like a number 10 bolt or something and try to weld a bolt in there. Learning experience, man. I'm sure a bunch of you guys will comment down below, but it's too late because I've already done it. Yep. Derp, 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 derp,
Wish me luck, man. I, I am really hoping that this works. First things first, of course, I need to try to find... I gotta cover this really well, dude, because I can't have any slag landing on this surface, obviously, because it'll fuck shit up. I feel like with the way my luck is going lately, I just... I need to be very careful, or else I'm just gonna fuck shit up. Derp. 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 Oh yeah, there we go. Yo, can I just say something right now? I'm not letting this fucking thing kick my ass today. It ain't kicking my fucking ass today, damn it. bitch out. What was that? There's one more? Yeah, thanks. Thanks for raining on my parade. <laughs> this was really fucking me up, man. And thank you guys to everyone who recommended welding. Um, I'm not gonna lie, like, I kind of thought about doing that, but... Anyhow, let's get this other one out. Well, I am not having so much luck with this one. Fuck, dude. I hate, I hate seeing the head in this condition, bro. Like, I know nothing's like fucked up, but I just, I feel, I feel like I'm fucking shit up. You know what I'm saying? I just can't wait to get this fucking done. I can't wait to get this out of here and get the head cleaned up so I can feel better about it. <laughs> uh, but now that, that uh, 10 millimeter freaking socket, Allen wrench socket that I have is just fucked and covered with weld, broken welds. So, it just, it doesn't seem like it's biting into uh, the, the, I don't know what to call these, bolt, uh, cap. Doesn't seem like it's biting into the cap. All the weld is just kind of freaking melting onto that Allen wrench and not grabbing the freaking cap. But, I'm gonna keep fucking with it though. Hopefully we get it, man. Wish me luck. 
such a relief dude i feel accomplished i don't give a fuck how the rest of this day goes i feel accomplished what i did was i welded a bolt in there but when i went to go loosen it this freaking bolt broke off like the the, the other set side of this bolt was welded to the damn plug with a big old freaking lump of weld all around it but the the bolt itself fucking broke off. So what I had to do, then there was just a big old glob of weld on there. I ended up welding a socket straight onto there so that I have, you know, something to put uh, my ratchet onto. Thank you guys once again for recommending the whole welding thing. I don't see how else we're gonna get that shit off of there, bro. It was, it was a pain in the ass, man. It really was. So that leaves one more thing to do today. I got some new hose clamps for those pressure lines on Max. I think that's part of the problem, or is those hose clamps that I have on there. You can't really crank them down too tight, or else they'll pop, you know what I mean? Now these ones are actually fuel injection system hose clamps. You can, you can crank these down a lot tighter than those ones that I have on the lines now. Of course I got a bunch more freaking transmission fluid, again. And I want to throw the glove box in. is running rough as fuck right now you could probably very easily drop like two or three grand into this car maintenance wise man like oil change tune up and every filter on it and the front struts engine mounts are shot intake manifold gasket is leaking which is notorious for these 3800 series there's two intake manifold gaskets on this thing and i think they're both leaking which I found out is the reason why my radiator was getting all gunked up and nasty. Um, go figure. I don't know man, long story short, like, I'm, I'm starting to lose interest in Max just because of all the freaking problems that he has, man. Not to mention, I fixed the air conditioning, but the AC compressor took a shit. So now, motherfucker don't even have AC, man. Cruising around Arizona, sweating my ass off, getting off work, jumping in a car that's burning ass hot. Just to sweat my ass off all the way home, dude. It's not fun, man. It's not fun. Ugh. I'm not giving up yet, dude. I guess what I'm saying is I want to, but I'm not. I'm not going to. So I'm going to get these hose clamps switched out. Hopefully it makes those damn pressure lines a little bit more reliable. Uh, put a bunch of fresh transmission fluid in there again. And... I don't know, dude. Hopefully, hopefully the transmission ain't burnt up, man. Because I... I had to make it home like a mile and it was just acting weird. It, it was doing some weird shit that I can't really explain. Like, I don't know. We'll see. But I'm not going to bore you guys with the whole installation on that. I'm just going to kind of swap them out real quick and I'll catch back up with you guys when I'm done. And we'll throw in the, uh, throw in the glove box. But I do have a really, really cool install that we're going to have a lot of fucking fun with for max and i'm gonna show it to you we're not installing it today but i'm gonna show it to you um at the end of this video so don't go nowhere
transmission holds eight quarts. Like the whole transmission. If you were to just dump the pan, it's six quarts. But the entire transmission holds eight. You don't always get every single bit of it out. Now, I have once seen before, I forget where it was. I think it was a YouTube video where a guy said, if you want to get every single bit of the transmission fluid out of your transmission, you disconnect the cooling line run that line to a bucket and you start it just long enough to pump all the fluid out I imagine it's probably not good for the transmission um to do it for much longer than a quick moment who knows dude this transmission's been through so much hell i don't think i'm gonna make anything any worse so i do have my transmission lines disconnected right here and they're directly above a bucket so what I'm gonna do, obviously, is I'm gonna start the car and I'm gonna see how this goes, man. I'm actually kind of excited to do this. I've always wanted to do this. interesting all right <laughs> look all right back at it yeah trice static select oh man look at me bro look at me Motherfucking mess, dude. Everywhere. There's shit everywhere, man. <laughs> it's all good. I definitely got some cleaning up to do, but before, before we do that, I still got one more thing. Let's put the motherfucking glove box in because I don't know if you guys are aware of, aware of what it is I've been dealing with, but this is my glove. <laughs> Limo tent life, bro. But this is my glove box right now. It's always open. And, and of course, in ghetto white boy fashion, I got fucking tape on it. Yep. That's my latch. It's just not working no more, bro. So I'm going to swap that out really quick. Nice. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you smash that like button if you did. I still have an entire trunk full of stuff that I gotta get out and try to figure out where to put it all. Um, and of course, an absolute mess that we created today. So I'm gonna have a busy night, bro. I still have a lot of stuff to do ahead of me. But as far as the video, man, we're all done. I hope. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I told you I'd give you a sneak peek of a video of an install coming up soon for Max. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this, man. Comment below if you know what it is.